Hello, it's Josh Gaming here, and welcome back to MotoGP18. Today we're going to continue with career mode, and we are now on our home race now. Yes, it's finally time for our home race. Uh, we have done a bit of practice on Silverstone, but we've not we've not won a race on it yet. And uh, yep, it's now time for my home race at Silverstone. Uh, I've told myself to not go for uh, any sort of a colour, so I'm trying to just go for red. I think for the next season, when I do Moto3, I might end up changing my boots boots and helmet and stuff. But yeah, uh, just for this season, though, I'm just going to keep it uh, as red just because it, well, because I don't want to really take it off, really. So yeah, maybe maybe for the next season, I might end up changing it. So yeah, I'm going to be leaving it as it is. Uh, I've only got five laps around here, so um, it's going to be a really short one, but it's fine. Uh, by the way, I didn't have any time to do uh, to do free practice um, last week. So I've just put qualifying and race on for these two rounds, and then when we when we do, uh, it's Aragon after Maz yeah, it's Aragon after Mazzano. So um, yeah, that's what we'll, we'll be doing at full weekend. So um, yep, last episode uh, we managed to get um, a win at Spielberg actually, and we're going to show you the uh, the results. Um, if I just go uh, if I just go back to here, I'm just going to go and show you the uh, the, uh, the the results. Yeah, I managed to uh, to get a win at um, at Spielberg and at Bruno. So basically, our championship is looking pretty good at the moment. Um, and yeah, the uh, the championship is looking really, really good at the moment. Hopefully, we're gonna we're gonna get that win streak at our home race. But that's gonna that's gonna be the next one. So yeah, let's go and jump into it. And let's go and start qualifying. Let's go and see how we get on. And hopefully, we're gonna get a win here because I because I definitely want to win at my home circuit. So um, let's go and see how it goes. Home from the drone. Let's go and see how my home race. From a drone goes. Should be interesting. Let's go see how it goes. So it's going to be my first time winning um, at home as well. Well, I should say during my first race at home. Because I think in MotoGP 17, I don't think I got as bad winning on that circuit. So let's go see how I do in MotoGP 18. It's going to be a lot more harder this time though, because Silverstone's a long circuit. And we haven't got that many laps around it. So um, yeah. So I'll have to definitely put qualifying on because um yeah, we haven't got many laps. So um yeah. It's gonna be interesting though this one. But I bet by the limit though, I bet I bet we're gonna go really well, especially in the snipers team, because that, that team's been doing really good for me lately, that team. So um yeah, I know that I know that my teammates not doing too bad, but um yeah, I'm doing really I'm doing good on, on my team, so so yeah, let's uh, let's keep it up and hopefully we're going to get uh, some some more wins. Because if we can get two wins here, that's going to definitely extend it for another 25 points, and that's going to definitely keep my lead as well. But yeah. Hello and welcome to the Silverstone Circuit. Everything is ready here for the start of the qualifying session. Okay, right then, let's get into qualifying. And uh, I bet we'll probably do a good qualifying as well. Hopefully we're going to get on pole. Not sure if we are, but hopefully we're going to get on our pole position. Okay, right, here we go. Right, let's go and do my, my settings. Uh, I think I'm going to take soft tyres because um, that's going to be easy. I think it, it, I think it's dry for qualifying. Um, let me just have a look. I think it's going to be dry. Yeah, I think it's going to be dry, so that's going to be good. Okay, let's go see what lap times they're doing. Uh, 2.22 at the moment. Okay, that's the best time at the moment. So my target is 2.21, 2.20 is my, my target. Okay, right, let's get out there. Let's go see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. That's going to be try and be my target. Right then, and here we go. Right, let's go see how we get on. So Martin's put in a 222, so mine's going to be a 220 I'm going to try and do. So here we go, my home circuit for qualifying. Let's go see how we get on. At least it's going to be dry and not bloody wet than what it was in real life. But um, yeah, at least it's going to be dry. Which is going to be good. Hopefully the race is going to be dry. Eh? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's go see how we get on. Oh, it's just in the way. Okay, there we go. Yeah, should be interesting. Messed up a lot of it there. Right. Target is still a 220. Hopefully, we're going to do that. Right, let's get Digi out of the way. There we go. Yeah, sorry about the interrupting there, by the way. Oh, God. He's just trying to come through. Leave me alone. There we go. Every time when someone walks through my door, it always makes me jump. Ah, oh, dear. Okay. A little bit wide. Uh, qualifying's not going to go too bad, I don't think. So we should get some good times. Still 222 at the moment though, so I might be able to still do it here. We're going a little bit wide there. It's probably going to be a really close time to be honest, but... I don't know how close it's going to be, Digi's coming back again. It's going to be a close gap I think. Back again. Oh, what's it going to be? Oh, I think it's going to be a 20. Oh no, a 216. Wow. Wow, that's a surprise. That's uh, really surprising. 216. Wow, that's definitely going to hold on to my pole position though. That's definitely going to hold on. We can get a 2.15 on this lap, that's going to be brilliant there. Oh, hey, Martin must have done a, um, must have done a worse lap on that, um, on that lap then. Because people have got to do better than a 2.22. So, yeah. I don't know. But I'm actually quite shocked about that lap time there. To be honest, but I don't know. Quite shocked about it. I might be able to get Digi back, but I don't know. No, okay. I might be able to get a 215 if we are impossible, but I don't think that's probably going to happen. I've been uh, struggling a little bit through the corners though, so I don't think we are to be honest, but. I don't think we've actually got the chance to be on it. Oh! Martin's put a 214 in. Okay. That has really changed things up. So Martin did a 222 on that lap, and now he's done a 214. So that has now definitely messed my pole up. So it's definitely going to be a close pole, this one. Quite surprisingly. Oh, God. Quite surprisingly, it's going to be a going to be a close one. This is definitely going to be a close pole, this one. No. Oh, God. Oh, bloody hell. Messed that up. Okay. That's only what I can manage. I got a 215 there, so that is better than a 216, but... But, yeah, that is, uh, that is going to be a close one. See what we can do. That is going to be that is going to be really close. I'm probably going to be second or third, probably. We're back from the pit. That brings an end to this qualifying session. Oh no, we're not we're fourth. After a thrilling contest where the riders gave their all right up until the end, we can finally find out the name of the rider who will start from pole position tomorrow. It's going to be a fourth place. 
Well, at least we did do better than our last lap though, 2.15. But yeah, Jorge Martin, he did brilliant on that lap though. He managed to get a 2.14. So no, it's not going to be a pole, it's going to be a fourth place. That's not bad though, for my home race. Might have a good start, but... But yeah. Is, is anyone else from Britain in, in this category? Oh yeah, John McPhee is, yep. Don't forget about John McPhee. So there's only me and John McPhee in this category that are from Great Britain. Well, it's going to be an interesting one though, starting from fourth though. Well, like I said though, hopefully we're going to get a win though. I think I, I might struggle a little bit though, but I don't, I think I should, I should be fine though. Because I think the AI, I think the AI do, do struggle a little bit, so I should be completely fine, but I've said, I've said before that the AI are going to be a lot more competitive now, so. But, uh, yeah. It's going to be an interesting one, though, because I know we've only got five laps, but um, we might be able to still get a decent win, though. But, um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one, this one, though. But, yeah, I definitely want to win it at this at this track. It's, it's my home race, and I definitely want to win it at so. I bet Mazzano, I bet Mazzano will probably win at that because um, yeah, I'm really good around that, so we should be able to win at that. And then we've got Aragon after that, which I know that all of you do know that I do hate that I do hate Aragon, so that horrible bloody circuit. So yeah, and then after that we've got Bularam, which I'm looking forward to. My first race in Bularam career, so. That's going to be interesting as well. We're joining you live from Silverstone. Everything here is ready now for... Here we are live but let's see if we can get a win. Grid, where riders and engineers are talking over the last few details before the race. Yeah, I'm going to take uh, both soft again. Be a bit easier. So yeah, let's see if we can win home from the drone. That's going to be the aim. Let's see if we can win. Here we go. Starting in fourth place. So everyone's gone for soft tyres by the looks of things. Yep. So let's see if we can win at home from the drone. Hopefully we can beat Bastianini and Martin to the line. The riders are on the Silverstone starting grid and are ready to face one of the most demanding Grand Prix of the whole year. Here we go guys, my first race in career mode at my home circuit. Let's see if we can win. It's going to be an interesting one though, but hopefully we can. Because we've only got five laps around here, so um, here we go, right off we go, let's go see what we can do. First corner's going to be a bit tight, oh we're in the lead, I think we are, oh no we're not, okay. Well we're in the lead and then we drop down, so we're back to fourth place, oh no, now we're fifth. Oh they're all coming past, okay. oh god, got wide there, oh bugger. Right that's definitely going to have a restart. Oh, bloody hell. Yep, they all came and tripped on me. Oh, I know it would have been a tight one there. Right, here we go. Right, we'll try that again. That was horrible. Right. Yeah, they all bloody came and tripped on me there. Right. Right. There we go. We got a better start that time. Right, here we go. So if we'll have a better, a better start. Here we go. Oh, not bad. Okay. Oh god. Ezeki, I don't know what Ezeki were doing there. Well, he's crashed. So, we are still six. God. Okay. Right, not too bad at the moment. Right, we are back into fourth place. Oh, oh god, they're all coming past. Like I said, my bike's uh, had, a, had a little bit more upgrade. So, it's still not as quick. But um, it's not too bad. Right, I am struggling a, struggling a little bit here. A little bit bump, bumpy for some reason there. Oh, oh, I thought we were going to crash there. Right, can it uh, not going out the way here? Can it? Come on, out of the way. Oh god. Bloody hell, nearly crashed again. Can it wasn't getting out of the way. Yeah, can it was in my slipstream there. There we go, got him. Okay, right. Went to third. 
We're out of third place. Once again, it's Martin and Bastianini at the front again. Right, we are in third. Oh, we are. Oh, God. Wide. It's fine. Right, we're, we're not that far behind them, so I could get some good slipstream here. Right, Cannon's going to come past here. There he goes. Right, so we're back down to fourth now, but we're going to get him on the brakes. Yes, we are. Okay, so we are. Still in third. This is going to be a tight one, though, this one. I this race is going to go down to the wire, but I don't know. I mean, it's going to be a really tight one. And can it's really closing up, but we are still third. Coming close up on these two, though. That's kind of the problem. Oh god, we've gone wide again. For God's sake. Yeah, we might be struggling here because it is my first race around it, so I might be a little bit struggling, but hopefully I'm not. Right, we should be able to close in on these two, hopefully. Oh god, we are losing time. No, I need Cannon to stay behind me here. I don't mind getting third, but I really want to win. That's kind of the problem. But at the moment, though, we are struggling, which is what we don't want to do. We do close in on this section, though, but it's kind of like the other part of this section. Yeah, it's usually through this bit we usually come through and then we go a little bit wide on it. Yeah, that bit's completely fine though. We've closed in a little bit though, since we did go wide, but we did close in a little bit, but that's not going to do any anything to be honest. But we've closed in a little bit there. We might be able to get Martin slipstream though. Oh, we're going to get him. We've got him. We've got Martin, so we're up to second. Oh, he's gone round the outside though. Okay. Oh, no, he's going to get me back. Get off. Get off. Get off. Thank you. Okay. Right, I've got I've got him. Okay, so we're in second now. He's not gonna leave me alone though, that's gonna kind of, kind of a, been a problem, but we're gonna get him on the brakes. Oh god, no. Oh we've crushed him. <laughs> well that was a good sign then. Okay, that's good. Okay, we've crushed him, that's good. Right. Right, can we catch Bastinini then? Because he's a little bit further ahead at the moment. I'm actually not sure if we're going to catch Bastianini here. Because we've only got three laps to go. So I'm actually not sure if we're going to catch him here. I'm actually not sure. It's going to be a tight one if we do, but I don't know. God, no. Right, I think we've closed in a little bit. We've closed in a little bit. We've closed in a tiny bit, but not too much. I don't know where Jorge, Jorge Martin is after that crash. It's probably not that. It's probably not that far behind. It's probably like six or seven or something. As I said, I don't take as much time on the crash, so I don't know where he's going to be. But I don't know. Right, we have closed in on Bastianini now. Are we going to be able to get him though? Because we haven't got many laps left. We've only got two laps to go. A point four behind him. Might be able to get him on the brakes. Yeah, I think the brakes is going to be the best thing. Here we go. Yes, we've got him. We've got him. We can try and go around the outside, but I think we've got holding on to this now. We have. Yes, we're in the lead. We're in the lead. Right. Okay, this is good. Right, we're in the lead on my home circuit. This is very good. Right, he's going to come past. Yes, he has. He's come back past. But we're going to get him on the brakes. 
There we go. Okay, so we're now back in the lead. I, I believe we're going to do this. Right, come on. Oh, 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 hello. Bloody hell. You've come through quick there. Oh, no, he's come back through. So that's a second again. <laughs> Bloody hell, he, he barged me out of the way there. Right, we're back to second now. Right, I've got to get him back. But we've still got a lot to go. Oh, here we go, we've got a good drive. Got a good drive out of there, that's pretty good. Right, we had a lot more drive that time. Here we go. Oh no, I thought that we were going to be close there. Okay, so not through there. Oh, 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 that was close. Almost nearly collided on him. That would have nearly been both of us down then. That would have nearly been both of us down. Right, I've got a lot of work to do now though. Because he's, uh, he's pulled away from me again. This is going to be a really, really tight race, this one. This is going to be very tight. I thought it would have gone, it would have been a big gap, but yeah, the AI do feel really strong. Can we get him into here? Come on. Yes, we've got him. I think we have. Oh, we're on the wrong side of him now. We might be able to get him through this bit. Come on. Well, I've gone wide though, but I might be able to pull it wide. We've got him. Yes, we've got him on the, on the curve. Yes, we've got him. Okay, so we're still we're back in the lead now. Right, this is very, very good. Right, can we hold this lead now? Right. Let's see if we can hold it. Because we've only got a lap to go to stay in the lead. And he's not that far behind me, so he might end up getting me back. There he is, he's right there. Adam Norridan's crashed. Right, we are still in the lead though. This is very good. Right, oh, he's closing in again. Right, he's closing and closing again. Oh, we pulled away from him there. He's only right there, so he's not that far behind again. He's closing in. Like I said from before, he's going he's gonna to go on the brakes a bit early than me though. And once again, I've pulled away. This is very good. Right, can we hold on to this lead? This is the final lap, and can we hold on? Because I believe this is going to go down to the wire. In fact, if I make one mistake, he's going to come through. I need to make sure that that doesn't happen. So if I make one mistake now, I'm in trouble. And then there he is. Oh, he's come through. Oh, we've crashed him. Yes. He went on the back of me and he crashed. He's crashed. Yes, we've got a big lead now. This is good. This is very, very good. He crashed on the back of my bike. Technically his fault anyway, because he went to the back of me, so. Right, that's it now. We're all alone. Thank God for that all alone which is very very good but like I said we might make one mistake though but that's not going to happen we've not got many corners to go now and we are keeping this lead dramatically now I don't even know where Bastinian has actually ended up after that he might end up being still second I don't even know where he is but I don't even know who's in second. It's Canet's second now. Three seconds ahead of him. Oh, well, we've got this on a closed gap now. There we go. One corner to go. Oh, oh no. Curve. Oh, I thought we were going to crash on that. But here we go. Final one corner to go. I should can do a little bit of a wheelie, we can't, and there we go. We've won, we've won at my home circuit. First year on Moto3 as well. 
home from the drone has come to victory. And we're now on level 30, 37. There we go. We've won at my home circuit. While the riders complete their victory lap, let's take a look at the final ranking of the Moto3 race. Yep, so Bastianini ended in 4th and Martin ended in 5th. So that's going to be really good for the championship, can it? And Fabio got 2nd and 3rd. That's going to be really good for the championship as well. Let's go and see what that's done. I bet that's really extended it now. It's at all oh, 33 points. That is very, very good. 33 point lead over Jorge Martin. That is brilliant. That's brilliant. That is very, very good. So if we come with Mazzano, that's going to extend dramatically. That's very good. 33. I'm happy with that. And uh, the Accrue reward goes up as well. And there we go. Really enjoyed that. That was brilliant. And there's the achievement for winning. This victory is the cherry on top of an exhausting weekend. If his team keeps working like this, it will be really difficult for his opponents to overtake him. Yes, it will do. Ah, finally won at my home race. Well, at least we did manage to win anyway. Which was very good. But anyway, let's go move on to Mazzano now. And, uh, yep, another track that I like. So, let's go see how Mazzano gets on. We'll do some upgrades first before we do get into it, though. So, another from the last uh, video, I did have a lot of money. So, um, I've only got 10, 10 to spend. So, okay. Right, what can we do, by the way? Right, I'm going to do a little bit more on the suspension. There we go. Uh, that's the only thing I can do for now, so I'm just going to do a little bit more on that. Okay, let's go and move on to Mazzano. That's the next one. Qualifying and race once again. We've got eight laps around here. Let's get into it. Right, here we go then. Next one is Mazzano. And yep, yeah, another one of my favourite tracks in the game. I've done a lot of practice on this one, and I'm good on it. So, let's go see how it goes. Let's see, let's see if we can get another victory. I'm not sure if we are going to top pole on this one, but hopefully we do. I guarantee we'll, we'll probably top pole on this one. I don't even know whether that's going to be happening, but... But it might be a pretty tight race again. As soon as Sebastian needed a crash in the end, which we needed him to do, but... But, um, yeah, it's going to be a really tight one, this one. Yeah, it's going to be a really tight one. So like I said, we've got um, Bularam after Aragon, so that's going to be an interesting one. I've been thinking that I might do um, one race for Aragon, and then the next video after that one I'll do my first one as Bularam, just because I want that to be the title. Um, so I might just do one video for Aragon. And then when I do the next video, I'll do two races, Bularam and um, Mategi. Just because I want to get a Bularam title in there. Okay, it's going to be an overcast qualifying. Okay, right. Uh, I'm probably going to take the soft tyres again. Um, yeah, I'll take soft tyres again for qualifying, so it's going to be dry. So, um, yeah, let's get into qualifying. Let's go see how, how well we do at Mizano. We'll see how well we get on. Right, here we go. And yep, it's going to be dry. It's going to be an overcast. Let's go see how we get on. Like I said from before, we did do this in um, in the Red Bull Rookies. Um, I'm actually not sure if we won in the Red Bull Rookies. I can't exactly remember. Um, I can't remember. But um, yeah, it wasn't too bad in the Red Bull Rookies Cup, so... Oh, oh god, that was not been a good start. So let's go see how we uh, how we get on in Moto3. Oh 
not been a bad start I'd sort of gone on a few curves but it's not been a bad start it's probably going to be an interesting race though since I've got 8 laps but I bet it's going to be an interesting one. Probably going to get a decent win, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think we'll be, we'll be struggling in Mazzano, to be fair. I think probably the only, only the section we'll probably struggle on is probably down the right two corners. That's probably another bit... We're going to be struggling on but apart from that all the other corners I think we're going to be flying through them to be honest ok we completed that one so we managed to get 146 it's not too bad next target's going to be a, a 144 if someone beats that lap and it's just come out of the pit. It's coming through. Target's trying to get a 144 now. 145. Not sure if that's gonna do us, but that's what I'm gonna do. that's what I'm gonna go with anyway. Possibly might be a 143 if I do get a bit quicker, but not totally sure. Because I'm going a little bit quicker this time now. Oh. Nope. I think I'm going a little bit quicker now. Yeah, I've got slipstream on can it. There we go. Alright, uh, see if I can not break these two right handers. First one through the second one, that's better. Uh, got a little bit quicker that time. Got a little bit quicker through them corners. Uh, are we going to be quicker than the 146? Let's go and find out if we are. I think we are, I think. Yeah, we are. It's going to be a 144 point. So we were a little bit quicker that time. Let's go and have a look if that is going to be a pole or not. Hopefully it is, because we've been getting a lot of these poles lately, but let's see if it's going to be another one. Let's have a look then, shall we? Let's go and see if it is. For the moment, it... that brings an end to the qualifying session yep. for deciding pole. The results that you are looking at now don't just show us the grid positions, they also give us an idea of what the riders will be capable of in tomorrow's race. Yep, so I won by over a second. So it's Lorenzo Della Porta who starts in second place. So it's actually Bastianini's teammate. So Bastianini starts in ninth place, he's not had a good qualifying. Martin starts in sixth, so he's on the second row. Philip Urkel's had a good qualifying, he starts in third. Hmm, that's an interesting uh, few front rows to be fair. Bastianini in ninth, and um, Martin in sixth place. That's going to be an interesting one. Rob Rico's in twelfth. So that's going to be an interesting one. Since I, I topped it anyway. But yeah, it's uh, Bastianini's teammate who starts in second. So uh, Lorenzo Dallapore is going to be in the mix by the looks of things. If he ends up battling with me, but yeah. Yeah, Lorenzo Dallapore has been been doing really well in the real life though he's been getting some good results Lorenzo Della Porta um, he's doing really well on that team he's doing really well um, yeah MotoGP are at uh, Aragon this weekend um, not Aragon uh, they're already on Aragon uh, Thailand yeah they are um, at Thailand this weekend yeah they're at their uh, new track this weekend uh, fortunately I've not watched the Aragon one yet uh, I'm gonna try and watch that this weekend um, and then hopefully I'll be able to watch the Thailand one after that. So I've actually not seen the Aragon one yet. 
because I've been a very very busy so I've not been having time but the, it'll be it'll, it'll be recorded on my television so I can just watch it when I've got time but yeah they are at Thailand this weekend and I don't want to see any footage of that because I've not seen the Aragon race uh, races yet um so um yeah when I've got when I've got them watched I'll uh, get the Thailand thing up but yeah but yeah it should be quite good that Greetings from the Marco Simoncelli World Circuit. It's going to be a dry day as well. Where the Moto3 race is about to begin. Okay. We're moving now to the yep. Moto3 yeah. last group. Tech soft tires again. Engineers and technicians are ironing out the last few details before the race starts. Let's get to it then. Taking soft tires again. Yeah, it's going to be a bit easier. Okay, right. Let's go get this underway. Hopefully, we can get another win. All the riders have taken their places on the starting grid. Riders are deep in concentration, with just a few seconds to go until this San Marino Grand Prix begins. Right, here we go. Right, here we go. I thought we were going to do good around here. Hopefully we are. Here we go. Eight laps, and off we go. I'm not sure if we did win in the Red Bull Rookies, I can't remember. But, um, off we go. Let's go see how we get on. Oh, it's been a good start. We are in the lead. Oh. We're on a little bit wide. That's fine. We are. Oh, oh god. Lorenzo Della Port has come through. So we are into second. Oh, oh no, we're back in the lead again. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting one, this one. Oh, it's, oh, it's come through. Oh, there's Martin. So we, we're back down to second now. Oh god, no, not that curve. Gonna get him back. Okay, so we're back in the lead now. It's gonna be an interesting race this one though. There they are. Mar Martin's having a go now. I don't know where Bastinini is. Um oh, there he is! Bastinini's right there. Yeah, yeah, they're both. Both of the Hondas have come through. So we are now down to fourth. We're going to get them back. Oh, that was tight though. But I just managed to get them all back. All three of them as well. So both of the LCR Hondas have all come through. Both of them. Loren Lorenzo Dallaport and Bastinini are, are all in the mix at the moment. Back in the lead now. Not for too long until we get it back again. But I did say that this one was going to be a tight one now. Oh, they come back through again. Well, we've got Bastini in back, so we're back in the lead now. I don't know where um, Dalla Porter's gone. I'm actually not sure if he's um, if he's actually dropped off the front. Um, oh, he has actually. Yeah, he's actually dropped off actually. He wasn't in the battle for too long. And they've got me back again, so we're back to third again. It's going to return out to be a decent battle, this actually. It's going to go down to the wire again from what it was in the uh, last race. Technically, I did not Bastinini over, but um, yeah, it's going to be um, a battle, I think. This. Oh, this is why they'll end up getting me again. I'm gonna try. It's not happening. Yeah, this is why they'll end up breaking. There we go, look at that, look how much drive I get. Especially through this corner. Oh, look at that, that's how, that's how my good drive is. Very, very good. That's how I do manage to get very, very good drive. We well, have another complete of lap number two, and we are in the lead still. Not being bugged yet, which is quite surprising. So we are still leading.
see if we can keep this lead if we can. Might end up struggling again, but that's probably not going to happen. But yeah, if I can win here, that's definitely going to extend that championship. This Bastianini's got a good, good drive, and he's come back through again. So we are back to second. Oh no, back to third. Back to second first. There we go, first again. <laughs> back to first again. As we go wide again, as we go wide, and they both come back through. So we're now back to third. So once again, it's going to be another decent battle again. We're getting a lot of battles in this game. Another MotoGP 17, we didn't get as many battles in that one, but um, MotoGP 18, we're getting a battle in every single race. And it's going to be happening once again in this race. And once again, I'm going to go for the drive. Bastini got in the way, though. Oh, I've oh, gone wide. They've both come back through again. Oh. Oh, it's going to be tight. Oh. Just got him again. Back in the lead. Oh, this is... um, I'm loving this. Yep, yeah, it's another decent battle again. But we're back in the lead again. And we've still got a lot of laps to go here. This is um, this is going very well as Martin comes back through again. So, but we're going to get him back again. We have, so we're now back in the lead. This is um, this is really really good. I'm loving this battle. Oh no, he's come back through again. Back to second, and we're going to lose it again. So we're back to third. <laughs> oh my goodness. And now Kanich joined in the mix. So it's probably going to be back to fourth here. As I go wide again. So we're now back to fourth. Jesus, we're dropping down here. What are we supposed to do? It's not supposed to be happening. As Kanich is trying to come back through again. We've dropped off the front now. And now... Fabio, Fabio's having a go now, so we're now back to fifth. Jesus Christ. We've dropped him off. Let's get back with him. Oh no. Bug up. That's fine. Right, we'll close back up on them now. Oh god, they, they pulled away now. They pulled away. Okay, this is not good. Right, let's see if we can get them back if we can. They're not that far ahead though, but we might end up getting them back on the slipstream, but I'm not sure if that's gonna end up happening yet. Right, can we get them back? So at the moment though, we are running out of time. We've only got three laps to go after this one. And uh, we are uh, losing time at the moment. We are losing time. And we are struggling here. And they're, they are coming through. I'm not sure if we're going to get them back, you know, because when we are... Gone wide again. Uh, we are struggling now. Come on. Come on. Right, through this bit, it's going to be deadly again. I bet, I bet this is where we'll close up, close up on them now. Through this bit, we'll probably will. There we go. Right, that's better. Right, we've closed up on them now a little bit more. Not too much, though. Oh, we've closed up. 
Okay, we're closed in. That's good. Not by much though, but we have closed in. Okay, so we are edging our way back to the front again. Come on, Honda. Oh, oh, bloody hell. Right, I'm able to get Bastianini into here. We've worked, well, yes, we've got him back. Okay. We might be able to get the lead. Not sure if we are. No, no, we're not. Okay. He's going to get me back through here. We might be able to close him down a little bit. There we go. Slow him down a little bit. We managed to get him back. That was tight, though, but we've just got him back. So back to second. Right. Should be able to close in on Martin because he's not that far but he's not that far ahead, so we might be able to close in, close in on him here. Right, here we go. Right, this is where I this is where I, I'll end up getting him. If I'm close enough, this is where I'll end up getting him. This is where I'll end up getting him. Bastini is gonna try and come through though, which is not gonna work. So I'm going to slow down. He's, he's going to slow down. Here we go. Come on. On the brakes. That was a little bit better. Yes. Right. We're closed in now. Right. Okay. We're closed in. Are we going to get him back? Here we go. Yes. We've got him. We've got him. Have we? No, we're not. Okay. So we did, but he's got his back again. So we're back. Back to where we are again. Bastianini has dropped off a little bit now. But we're going to get him back again. So we are back in the lead. Here we go. Back to the front again. That's where we need to be. He's going to try and get me back though. He's going around the outside. Okay, right. We've got the lead at the moment. Can we stay there? It's going to be really tight again. Once again, we have got the lead, so this is very good. And he's gonna and he's gonna come back through. So we're back to second. Like I said, once again, another decent battle at the end of the race. He's right there, he's gonna try and come back again. I think Bastinini's trying to come back in the mix again. You see Bastinini is trying to come back. He's dropping off slightly though, Bastinini though. As I did actually slow him down on that corner. My teammates just moved up to 16th. Right, are we gonna get it? I thought we were gonna get him back though. I think we are. Not through here. We're probably through this bit. Yes, we've got him. Okay. Right, we've got one lap to go now. Oh no, he's come back through, we've gone wide again. So we are uh, back to second now. But yeah, we're going to get him back into the final corner, which we are going to do. Yes, we have. Yes, we've got him back. Okay. Right, can we hold on now? Because we've only got one lap to go. Right, okay, final lap. Right, can we hold on? This is <laughs> this is going to go... This is going to be really tight. As I said, he's got a lot more better drive than me on the straight. So, if I can get a little bit of a gap here... Might be able to close in, but I don't know. It's going to be really tight though again. It's going to be a really tight one again. Bastianini has closed in a little bit more again. He's not going to get me this time. I think he's too far away. He is. Right. I think I think we're going to hold on here. Yeah, we're gonna hold on here. Come on. Come on. That's it. Right, let's hold on. That's it. Right. He's gonna close in, but he's not gonna be he's not gonna be enough though. I think I've got I think I've got this. Come on. Here we go, he's trying. It's not working. Yes, I've got it. Okay. Oh, I think I've got it. Yes, there we go. I've gone wide. 
It's fine. Okay. Come on. No! Oh, bloody hell. Okay. I think we've got it. Okay. Found a corner. Come on. I think we've done it. Oh, it's going to be tight. I think we've just done it. We have. We've done it. Oh. That was, um... That was close. We only just got that. Well. Two races and two wins. That's going to do the championship very nicely. While we wait for the cameras to take us to the Parc Ferme to meet the stars of the race, let's take a quick look at the Moto3 class final rank. That was close though. Four, four tenths for second. That was close, but we only just won it. So that's two wins. Championship now is 38 points. Very nice. That's very good. Very good. Well, there we are. And yep, there's the achievement as well. See how we didn't win it in the Red Bull Rookies. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. So if you guys have enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Please go subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. So, yep, next one will be at Aragon. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!